equal di equals zero and ti equals zero. That means di initial equals zero and ti initial equals zero. Di finally equal cosine mark and t final is equal to 3 over 2. So we have to find d final. So p of t is equal to 40 over 3 t squared. So we replaced all the t's with 3 over 2. So p of 3 over 2 it's equal to 40 over 3, 3 over 2 squared. So P, P of 3 over 2 is equal to 40 over 3, 9 over 4. So 4 goes to 40 10 times. So 10 times 3 equals 30. So DF equals 30. So we don't need that anymore. D1 is equal to cosine mark and and T1 is equal to 1. D2 is equal to 20 and T2 is equal to cosine 1. This is a pattern. D is missing and T is missing. So first we are going to find D1. So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. This time we replace t with 1. So p of 1 is equal to 40 over 3, 1 squared. So p of 1 is just 40 over 3 times 1 because 1 times 1 equals 1. Answer is a decimal. So p of 1 is equal to 13.33. So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. We replace P of T with 20. For, for, for equal 40 over 3 T squared. So we multiply 3 by each side. I know that 3 times 20 equals 60. So 60 equals 3, 3 cancel, 40 t squared. So we divide both sides by 40. 40, 40 cancel, 0, 0 cancel. So So 3 over divided by 2, 2, 1. So T2 is equal to 1.221. That's our organ. This is where our parabola goes. This is 10, 20, and 30. We put a 
plate over there. P of T equals 40 over 3 T squared. Do you know what is the name of the line? The name of the line is velocity. So we are going to find velocity right here. Velocity is equal to D final minus D initial over T final minus T initial. D minus zero over three over two zero is equal to thirty times two over three because we flip it. Three goes to thirty ten times. So ten times two equals twenty. Velocity equals 20. We want to do the small interval. Grab the small interval on the coordinate. 1.22 comes to 20. And, and 1 comes to 13.3. Now, I'm going to draw... draw So I put it there so you fall in love with it. Try to do to roll that. So P, so P prime of T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. P of t, delta T, T plus delta T. Minus P of T over delta T. So P prime of T is equal to we distribute 40 over 3 T squared. Limit as delta T goes to 0, 40 over 3 T. T my square whole square minus minus 40 over 3 t square for delta t. So p prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to 0. b square whole square is equal to a squared plus 2AB plus B squared. That's 
go back. So 40 over, over 3 t, t squared plus 2t delta t plus t squared. That is 40 over 3t squared. T is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 40 over 3 t squared. Td over 3 t delta t. That's 40 over 3 t squared. Forty over three t squared plus forty over three t squared minus forty three over three t squared cancel over delta t. P prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 80 over 3 t delta t plus 40 over 3 t over delta t. So we factor out delta t. P I of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. Delta t, 80 over 3, prime of t equal to limit as delta t Go close to zero. Delta T he, A over V T plus forty over three delta T over delta T. Delta T, Delta D cancel. P prime of T equal to limit as Delta T goes to zero. A over 3 T plus 40 over 3 Delta T. 40 over 3 Delta T goes to zero. So P prime of 1.22 is equal to 80 over 3 times 1.22, which is equal to 32.